Hello, Internet, and thank you for tuning into this Spilled Environment special presentation. We'd like to take you along to the American Craft Beer Festival, which is sponsored every year by BeerAdvocate.com and Harpoon Brewery. It is a huge gathering of breweries, big and small, from across the country, and it's a lot of fun. We'd like you to come enjoy the festival with us. Cheers. the Jamaica Red Ale, please. Absolutely, yeah. All right, enjoy it. Thank you. Right. Uh, can I have the red, please? Thank you. Can I get some of that barley wine? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Cheers. Well, the majority of beers at ACBF are pretty incredible. Some of them can be not so pleasant. I think I know what this is. And I think this makes you a bastard. But I'm going to drink it anyway for the internet. <laughs> That's a look of sadness. No, I didn't get that. It smells like feet. It tastes like feet. And then we stopped to have a short chat with somebody from Mad River Brewing Company. This one's just if you're wondering about the brewery. It's from California, Humboldt County, California. Really? And actually, uh, way back in the late 70s, yes. the owner Bob was um, came in contact with Ken Grossman from Sierra at his homebrew store before Ken started. So they became friendly. Ken started Sierra. After that, um, Bob couldn't really have the financing yet, so when Sierra upgraded and sold their equipment, he bought it. So it's been around since the 80s, fairly new to this area. One uh, small brewer of the year, the Great American Brew Festival in 2011. There's a bunch of gold medals. The Beer Advocate Brothers rate this one a 98. It's world class. Um, everything up here is an 89 or above. That's pretty high. This is actually delicious. Which one do you have? I have the red. The red. I love red. Hot forward red ale, 6.5%. It was actually made for a uh, reggae festival, so that's what the name came from. Oh, that's why it's Jamaica? The style is so different from the Steelheads. It was made right. for a reggae festival. Okay. So. That's cool. So you guys have some pedigree. Absolutely. With the Ken Gross Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cheers, thank you for trying. Thank you. After having more than a few beers, we decided to have some chats with our fellow Beer Fest attendees. What are we talking about? Give me a little Beer Fest. Beer? Beer, right? I love beer. What beer goes best with cocaine? All beer. All beer goes best with cocaine? So what is uh, your favorite beer here, Ben? My favorite beer? For real? Yes. I would definitely say the, uh, the Boulevard. Or the Boulevard um, Lucky Elf. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Cool. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. Okay. I like the watermelon. I don't remember where it was, but it's very delicious. I would also say the Trogues. I, I'm a big fan of the Trogues Perpetual IPA, but they they have a, a mango imperial IPA, which is really good. It's pretty solid. It's a little high in the, in the ABUs, but it's still a good beer. Cool. <laughs> What's your favorite drinking game? I don't play drinking. Too much cocaine. 
so what is, what is the uh, the best thing that the Heisenberg uncertainty principle has gotten you out of? Well, the problem with that is it's not a prime number, so we're done. A speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Recently, Will we? I'm not sure if you know Will we? Yes, Star Trek. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, so he yeah, runs a show uniforms. called. Uh, oh God. He did. Uh, he, uh, he runs a show now called Tabletop, where they play tabletop games. Okay. Uh, we do something similar called um, Let's Turn to Gaming Tabletop. But in the recent one, he played uh, King of Tokyo okay. and got knocked out early and was begging for a, um, a themed beer. Okay. For King of Tokyo. Cascazilla immediately came to the mine. This one doesn't have the dude. That one has the dude on it. it there we go. Um, no, the Mighty Axe Soda, Mighty Dragon. What are we doing? Breathing Hops, breathing uh, Cascazilla dude. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Drink it, Will Wheaton. Drink it. Is? No, it's fine. <laughs> Time for a beard to beard. <laughs> Don't even know what the hell that is, but sure. Well, I think we both have some, some just, amount of effort. I just chopped it. mine down, man. I had to take it oh. like halfway off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is there any particular reason why? Um, so it wouldn't get into your beer? Yeah, yeah it certainly you know, interfered with eating and drinking. Yeah, I'd say that would be the top reason for sure. But yeah. So uh, we're, we're, we're a couple hours into the beer fest. What's yeah. your favorite beer been so far? Uh, I really enjoyed some of the rye IPAs because in Red Run we don't get a lot of them. So like Green Flash had a pretty nice one and uh, I've had some excellent double IPAs and just enjoying myself, fucking wandering, wandering around and uh, just uh, trying things on my list, off my list. Yeah, it's Where did you come from? Uh, Ontario, Canada. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Not far to plane, but I mean far enough. Yep. Wow. So it's uh, it's great, man. I mean, That's I see. Quite a way to travel to Boston. Yeah, yeah, I see a handful of beers that we have access to, and the rest are pretty much uh, you can see them again until I'm in the states, probably. So yeah. it's great. All right. Yeah. Well, if uh, you come all this way, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So. You know, it's getting late in the session here. So for today, uh, I want to run through. What's your favorite beer you've had so far? Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's a uh, drop yeah. one. I know, uh, you probably don't remember right now. Drop one yeah, was milk so, a jalapeno one from, I don't remember where, but it was a jalapeno one, it was really good. Pretty Things Brewing is a Massachusetts powerhouse, but unfortunately we didn't get a lot of time to talk to Dan Paquette, who is dressed to the nines. Hey man. Hello. Can I get you a beer? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I'm trying to figure out which one. Oh, East India Porter. Yeah, yeah absolutely. From 18, 1855 from Truman's Brewery? I can't remember now. No, Whitbread. Whitbread. Yeah. London, 1855. Did you use the Whitbread yeast? Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> I'm just looking at your hat, so you really are a fancy Dan. 
<laughs> Fancy. Uh, uh, nobody's called me that, but I suppose I can answer to that at the minute. At the minute, you know, uh, I can answer to that name at the minute. So you're not Dan right now. I am Dan. Yeah. Okay. All right. I never called myself Fancy Dan though, so uh, I didn't was sure. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Cheers, sir. All right. Cheers. Have a good one. Cheers. I'm going to try the 4,000 footer at the end. So where in New Hampshire are you guys located? We're in North Woodstock, New Hampshire, right in the middle of the White Mountains. Right really? at the end of the King of Vegas. We're a restaurant and a brewery. Been there. We're... Okay, my girlfriend, who actually is a New Hampshire native, ran away. Uh, she doesn't like the camera. I was going to say. But alas, all good things must come to an end, and eventually the lights flickered for last call. We all streamed out of the festival hall, thinking about the beer that we had enjoyed. The next group was on its way in, though, and they were exuberant. Oh, yes. How are you? Yeah, they're that, kind of drunk. I am super drunk. There you go. Oh, yeah. Last call, folks. Last call. Taps close at 430. The five minute warning seems to have become drink as much as you can in five minutes. Last beer of the day. Last beer. successful beer fest. Cheers. Thank you guys for coming out and sharing our ACBF experience with us this year. We hope if you weren't there that you'll come out and check it out in person next year. It was really a lot of fun. We would truly like to thank everybody who was involved, Beer Advocate, Harpoon Brewery, all the brewers that were there, and everybody who took time out of their schedule to, uh, to come talk to us for a little bit. Cheers, guys.